Hi students, I am very happy to welcome you all for this session. In this wonderful session, you are going to learn chapter 15 Data Manipulation through SQL. What is the difference between the chapter 12 and this chapter 12? I mean, uh, the difference between the chapter 12 and this chapter. In chapter 12, you have learnt all the concepts, all the SQL concepts and we have performed all the SQL queries through a server. But here, without a server, we are going to create a database and we are going to create a table and we are going to perform queries with the help of Python programming shell script. That is what the main difference between the chapter 12 and chapter 15. But here we are going to use a different query language called SQLite. SQLite language we are going to use to retrieve the data from a database. As well as we are going to use SQLite to create a table, to create a database for everything. We are going to use your SQLite language only. So let us introduction about a database. Let us see. An introduction about a database already have learned enough introductions about database database is organized collection of data the term database can both refer to the data themselves or database management system database management system is a software application it is a software application which is used to maintain a database to manage a database here users don't have to be human users which means those who are all using uh, this database it is uh, not condition is there there is no condition is there that users must be a human other programming languages also can be an user that is what they are trying to say here next one is history of sql light here we are going to already have explained you what language we are going to use here with the help of programming language python shell script sqlite history of sqlite sqlite was developed by richard hip d richard hip in the year 2000 first official release was of this language is 17th august 2000 they have used and he used c language he used C language to develop this language and uh, mainly it is used in Android for local storage what are all the things they are they have developed for Android mobile phones for that they have used SQLite language only and uh, now we are all using um, the famous social media and uh, no, it is not a social media it is one of the most uh, shareable medium communication medium called whatsapp for whatsapp database also they have used this language sqlite to store the data what are all the things you are sending to your friends that must be copied in your phone I mean in your uh, uh, whatsapp those data are stored in the database for that they have used this SQLite language only why we need to use SQLite no need to have a server there is no need of any server to use SQLite but to use oracle mysql we need a server while learn chapter 12 you have learned the chapter 12 fully through xam server but here without the intervention of server we are going to perform the queries next one is zero configuration for uh, using this sqlite language we don't have any special configuration we don't have any no need to have any uh, special software and next one is public domain which means it is very easy to use and let us see what is sqlite 
SQLite is a simple relational database system which means it is an example of RDBMS which saves its data in regular data files or its computer local uh, or even in the internal memory of a computer which means local memory of a computer. It is designed to be embedded in applications especially designed to embed with other applications. Instead of using separate database server programming languages like uh, Oracle, SQL, MS SQL or uh, other programming languages, uh, we can use SQLite. SQLite is faster and uh, regularly rigorously tested and flexible comparing with other languages like MySQL or SQLite, uh, My MySQL SQL server it is flexible and it is making easier to work. Python has a native library for SQL, right? Already I have explained you why Python become so famous within a short period. Within a short period, why Python become so famous? Because it has many library functions inside it. So SQLite is one among them. To use SQLite, first of all, we have to open IDLE script of uh, yeah, python programming language in it the first line should be there import sqlite next one is we have to create a connection using connect method and pass the name of the database uh, file within the connect method and next one is we have to set a object set an object called cursor cursor which is used to trace into the database and the cursor object is very important thing while using SQLite with the uh, with uh, Python programming language. So next one is connecting to a database in step two means passing the name of the database to be accessed. If already the existing database is there, it will access the database. If the database is not there, the Python will create a new one with the specified name next one is cursor in step 3 and it is a control structure used to traverse traverse means access it will intrude into the database line by line and fetch the record the cursor object which is used to cause the i mean fetch the record which means getting the record from the i mean retrieve the record from the database cursor has a major role in working with python all the commands will be executing through cursor object only it has a major role while working with python cursor has a major role while working with python all the commands has to be executed all the commands of sql will be executed using cursor object only after uh, creating table if you want to execute some queries some commands you have to pass the commands for example, select start from table. This should be contained within the cursor object only and this should be passed as a parameter with cursor object. So with this SQLite introduction has been over. So next one I am going to uh, give examples for creating database, creating table and uh, performing queries with python programming language with the help of sqlite so as usual you have to open python shell script and open new one and here you have to give import sqlite 3 and after that you have to give you have to create a connection to the database and here C O N N E C T I O N connection is a variable is equal to connect method here you have to give SQLite 3 dot C O N N E C T connect and within the parenthesis you have to give the database name A C A D E A C A D E M Y Academy dot D B you should give db is nothing but database and afterwards you have to give 
you have to create an object called cursor c u r s o or cursor is called connection dot cursor c o n n e n e c t i o n connection dot cursor and next step is creating a table how you have created a table while using while studying chapter 12 the same step the same step should be followed here also so that here we have to give the commands sql underscore c o m m a n d sql command is equal to the sql command should be given within triple quoted string in python because we are using python programming language the string should be given within triple quotes for creating a table c r e a t a create t a b l e create table and here s t u d e n t student within the bracket what are the details we need we have to give here r o l l roll number and it should be in integer i n t e g e r integer and this should be set as a primary key p e r i m a r y primary k e y primary key and and afterwards give comma for the next field and n a m b name is equal to character and this should be and length of the character should be 20 Length is a user defined one. Whatever the length you want, you can give. And next one is G R E D E grade C H A R character. It should be character because A grade, B grade, E grade, S yes grade. We are going to denote like this so that it should be one. And next one is gender G E N D E R gender, and this should be also in character. And this should be also in one because. male or female like that we are going to denote here so next one is a v e r a g e average here here we have to give a comma and next one is because average should be or average may or may not come as a decimal points so that we have to give in decimal and precision we have to give here 5 comma 2 and next one is birth date b i r t h birth or it should be give like this d o b and here d a t e here you have to give D A D. This should be in this format, and we have to close this one. This is what my structure of the table, and here <coughs> a cursor in SQL and database is a control structure. Already I have explained you, and it is used to to traverse into the database over the records in the database. and it will be intruded into the database and it is used to fetch all the records from the database table and here if a column of a table is declared to be a integer primary key in your table then whenever a null value whenever a null value will be used as an input for this column the null will automatically to be converted to into an integer which will one larger than value of that particular column suppose if you are uh, declaring any column as uh, primary key for your table you are not allowed to empty a record you are not allowed to empty a record suppose if you are leaving uh, a record as an empty one 
automatically it will give a value of larger than of uh, larger than of the last one suppose if it is the first record it will assign one as the value if it is the fifth one it will assign as a it will it will assign fifth five as a value of that particular column this is what the literal meaning of this one so next one is adding record to add the records i already explained you while uh, taught in taught chapter 12 we have to use insert we have to use insert command insert command which is used to uh, add the records into your table so next one uh, an important command is there called execute the execute method executes the sql command to perform some actions so next one we are going to see how to add the records into your uh, table to add the records we have to give after creating the table we have to give uh, cursor dot execute command and already explained you execute command which is used to execute some actions in your database table so here co or cursor dot e x e c u t e execute here we have to give this variable called sql command because cursor which is used to intrude into the database to fetch the record execute which is used to intrude the database and it will perform some actions here we have to give sql co m m a n d command okay so next one is we are going to use i mean we are going to insert records for that we have to call the variable sql co m m a n d is equal to within the triple quoted i mean within the triple quotes we have to give insert into student so here i have created my table as a student so here also we have to denote the same thing insert in insert i mean insert into see here a small spelling mistake insert and we have to denote the field here roll number comma n a m e name comma g r a d e grade comma c n d e or gender a v e or a g e average a v e or a is spelling should be same average and d o b 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes so the next thing is we have to insert values c a l u e s values and here it should be given null when you are giving null automatically it assigns the value because i have give as a primary key here i have uh, i have uh, assigned my roll number as a primary key so that if you are leaving uh, if you are giving null as a value automatically it assigns the greatest value what we have using before that one and next one is within the bracket i mean within the double quotes i have to give so akash and next one is um name and next one is grade grade should be given within a grade and next one is gender m and next one is uh um 
average average should be given within uh, double quotes 98.9 and come on date of birth date of birth should be given year first and next we have to give the month 12 and 26 so we have to close this one and triple quotes also and here we have to execute this command so for that we have to use cursor method cursor dot execute execute and within the bracket sql underscore comand so again if you want to insert records just copy i am going to and here instead of using i mean i am going to change the name a s h i ashik yes great again i am going to give the same command here also control c and here control v and next one is connection dot commit c o m m i t so what is the use of connection dot commit commit which is used to save the record save the database and next one is C O N N E C T I O N connection dot C L O S E close and next one is I'm going to give a statement I'm going to print a statement for uh, or whether the database has been created or not S T U D E N T student table T A B L E table created C R E A T E D created if when i execute this program if it will show this statement as my output there is no error suppose there is any error it will show as first for that to execute this program first i have to save my program and as one see here db1 dot p y and next one to execute go to run yes some error is there we have to rectify this one has no attribute c or s o or c r c u again save it in line 7 cursor is not defined so see here spelling mistake is there table student already exits So again, so student table is already exist. So table has been created already. So this is how we have to create a table with the help of Python programming language and SQLite three. Run it but it shows an error
so i'm going to create another database record database table for that i'm going to here i'm going to use the same thing and next one is i'm going to fetch or i'm going to insert bulk records into the table uh, before in this program in this program or in this uh, for this table i have insert inserted uh, values for uh, a student single student one by one and here i'm going to insert a bulk bulk records into the database table for that i, I have to create a table for uh, inserting bulk records bulk records into the database table the records should be within list so here and here we have to insert the values a k s k y y akshay comma and next one is grade we have to denote here c is grade and next one is male comma and here average 55.5 and next one is date of birth here 1998 comma 05 comma 1999 and next one is comma within the bracket s a j i n i sajni sajni and next one is grade so next commands and next values has been insert and next one is female her uh, sex is female and next one is average 68.7 and next one is date of birth date of birth should be given like this Two thousand twelve and month zero seven and date and next one another record and first and next one is P A R U N Varun and his grade will be B and his gender. Will become male, and next one is average eighty point nine. And next one is date of birth. Date of birth will be two thousand one zero three and fourteen. And next one is next record. Priya, P R I Y A, Priya. Come on. Grade. Yes. And next one is the next one is.
gender we have to give and next one is average 50.7 and next one is date of birth 2002-01-01 and next one is within the bracket I am going to insert another record and Tarun and next one is D and here M Two point three and next one is date of birth two thousand two zero two zero two and these are the records. I have inserted and next one I am going to create a for loop to intrude uh, into the data S T U D E N T student S T U D E N T D A T A uh, already I have explained to you what is the use of uh, for loop P is a variable which is used to intrude into the variable student data and will and it will fetch the record one by one and it will insert into the table and uh, next one is we have to create another variable called format str is equal to insert into student student we have to test copy this one and here we have to give uh, values v a l v a l u e s values and next one we have to give uh, grade i mean uh, the fields which is equal to and Why I am giving this one as a null because I have I have set this one as a primary key. Okay, so that no need to give the values or field name. And next one is here. These are all description about the field G or is great. And next one is. G E N D E or gender. Next one is A B G. A B G is nothing but for average. And next one is here. I have to give D O B. So finally, I have to finish with the triple quoted string. And next one is SQL C O M M A N D SQL command is equal to F O or M A T format. 
अंडर स्कोर एस टी और डॉट एफ ओ और एम ए टी फॉर्मेट विच इन द्रैकेट एन एम ई नेम इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ जीरो कमा जी और इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ वन एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज सी एन डी ई और जेंडर इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ टू नेक्स्ट वन इज ए वी जी इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ थ्री एंड नेक्स्ट वन कमा डी ओ बी इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ फोर वन थिंग दे फॉर गुड टू गिव फोर टोटली फाइव फील्ड्स आर देयर एंड नो नीड टू गिव रोल नंबर बिकॉज it is set a, it is set as a it has been it was set as a primary key so that no need to give that one here and next one is so dot e x e c u t e so dot execute which has to be execute s q l c o m m a and d sql command so next one is c o n n e c t i o n connection dot c o m m i t next one is c o n n e c t i o n connection dot c l o s e close and next one a print statement i'm going to give here within that or the co or ds records added successfully okay first we have to save this one and before that i want to use some details here this should be give here control is db2 dot py so after that invalid syntax error is there for p in student data records are added successfully the record has been added into the table next is we are going to use sql query we are going to use sql query uh, in this uh, record i mean uh, sql query to perform some actions uh, in this table so for that we have to close the db1 and open a new one first we are going to fetch all the data so first function is fetch all function or fetch all method while using fetch all method what are the records what are all the records we have inserted into uh, the table though all the records should be retrieved uh, by fetch all method to use fetch all method import yes q l i t e s q l i t 
and next one we have to create a connection with the database connection is equal to so yes we will copy control c and next one is we have to perform this one also we have to give this command cursor uh, object then only it will intrude into the database table and it will retrieve the data from the table and next one is within the cursor object and execute method cursor dot e x e c u t a we have to give the commands with double quotes s e l e c t select star f r o m from student s t u d e n t student at last we have to close the parenthesis and next one is p r i n t print we are going to use fetch all method s e t c h fetch fetch all method so that we have to denote here with the help of print statement and next one is I'm going to create another variable I'm going to create another variable called result R E S U L T result to retrieve the data from fetch all method print dot I mean sorry C or S O or cursor dot F E T C H fetch all and the next one is for or in result or e s u l t or is another variable which is used to intrude into the variable result and e r a n t because print or why here i have given r because all the results has been all the records has been taken by the variable r only so that now i'm going to execute this one yes i want to save after saving this one db3.py yes fetch all but the first record only has been retrieved from uh, the table but all the records has been retrieved while using uh, fetch all Yes, it is uh, retrieving the records from the database DB2. But while using fetch all record, it has to be retrieve all the uh, records from the table. But it is retrieving the first one in a first one alone. So that I have closed this one. So see here. And again I'm going to execute this one. So some error is there, we have to rectify that one. using uh, fetch all all the records should be retrieved from the database and next one is uh, fetch one while using fetch one the first record of that table has been retrieved from the table that is the difference between fetch all while using fetch all it will, it will retrieve all the records from the table but using fetch one method 
it will retrieve the first record of the table this is what the difference between uh, fetch all and uh, fetch one but we can uh, retrieve all the records from fetch one by one by one uh, we can retrieve all the records with the help of a fetch one class or fetch one method uh, one by one with the help of uh, while loop with the help of while loop we can fetch all the records using fetch one method and here instead of here we are going to use fetch all i am going to use fetch one give control yes yes this is what uh, fetch one and i here i have to change one yes this is how we have to fetch a single record with the help of h1 method from the database table and a, a small mistake is there we have to find and rectify the error here we have to see the error if there is any error occurred we have to rectify the error here then only we can get the result or else we are not able to get the result So here I am going to change uh, so all again and here also give control S press F5 <coughs> again in retrieving uh, Akshay record alone again and again this is the wrong one let us see next one is displaying fetch many so with the help of uh, fetch many we function how many records you want that records should be specified here and it should be retrieved from the table itself for your reference yes fetch all but uh, here I have to change as many M A N Y many and here change it as a many control S yes, Akshay Akshay again you are showing the same data yes, more, what is the error there I don't know but everything has been given correctly <coughs>
So again, I am going to add So that's one. Control shift to end. So here. Control V, give control yes, press F5, records ordered successfully. And a small mistake is that we have to find out this one. We cannot operate on closed database here. It has been closed, so remove this one. In control S, press F5. Record has been added successfully for five times. The same thing here also have to here now give fetch all and here remove this one because don't close your uh, database fetch all so now save this one yes akshay sajini because three times it has been retrieved so we have to close db1 this one too and db2 also and yes it is enough to open uh, again press f5 to retrieve the data yes the first student record has been uh, retrieved three times no four times i don't know why now we are going to perform fetch one so while using fetch one class the first record alone has been retrieved from the table control s yes, f5 press f5 yes already i have explained you now we are going to give fetch many here also we have to give fetch many control s yes. now you can yes akshay 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 so because four times it has been added the first record the first student record alone has been added four times so that it has been retrieved again and again and uh, we are going to see classes in sql so already I explained you distinct class where class group by order by having distinct which is used to uh, what uh, remove the duplicate values which is used to uh, while using distinct keyword it will uh, avoiding the duplicate values present in any specific columns or table if there is any duplicate values are there for example akshay has been added as four times it should be avoided while using distinct class and var which is used to uh, what it is just like a uh, sorting not sorting uh, it is just like as a condition uh, the where class is used to extract only those records that fulfill the condition what is the condition you are going to give within the where class if the condition is satisfied then only so what uh, you can get the result or else 
you will not get the result next one is group by class group by class groups the records into a summary into a summary rows it returns one records for each group it is often used with aggregate functions the group by record uh, often used with aggregate functions like count max min sum average like that next one is order by order by which is used to sort which is used to sort the record and uh, by default it will sort the record uh, ascending order in ascending order if you want to sort the record by descending order you can give descending keyword now we are going to see one by one next first one is uh, distinct keyword select here we have to give select here d i s t i n c t distinct n a m e name from t a b l e table so here result and i am going to remove this one and here i am going to use fetch all fetch all so here also no need to give for loop or it is enough press f5 so error is there select distinct name from so a small mistake i have done sir here s t u d e n t student control s now press f5 yes so these are all the names yes i have inserted into the table And next one we are going to see var class the same thing here we are going to give select instead of select star from we are going to give select p i s t i n c t distinct and grade g r a d e grade F R O M from S T U D E N T student W H E R E var G E N D E R gender is equal to M and at this one specify I am I am telling to the database table. retrieve the records distinct records of grade if there is any duplicate records that should be avoided but in that i have given within var condition those who are gender i mean those who are male only those persons record alone has been retrieved from the table that is what i'm telling the database i'm telling to the database here here instead of fetch many i'm going to use fetch all and next one is give control s and press f5 yes a b d these are all the rec i mean uh, grade I, i have used here because see i have given twice so next one is
in your book they have given scp is equal to slash n sep is nothing but it is a separate uh, use of slash n is which is the records has been uh, printed one by one while you are not while you are not using i mean uh, whenever you are not going to use for loop at the time you can use uh, sep keyword because of using sep keyword your record has been retrieved one by one or your records has been uh, displayed one by one so next one is order by order by which is used to sort the records in an ordered way and here see i am going to change select name or wo or wo ll number comma n a m e name from student s t u d e n t student o r d e r order by n a m e so now save it run this one yes akshay priya sajini tarun varun because the name has been the names has been ordered alphabetically this is what the use of uh, order by class next one is having class so having class which is used to filter the data based on group of functions this is similar to where condition but it cannot be used having class cannot be used with where condition having class can be used with group by or order by only so here i'm going to use a different uh, statement select g e n d e or gender comma c o u n t count gender how many male are there how many female are there that should be count here g e n d e or gender from s t u d e n t student g r o u p group by gender and that should be having c o u n t count g e n d e r greater than 3 so the literal meaning of this uh, query is i am telling to the database with the query the gender has been counted and it has been displayed by group by and which gender has more than 3 members that should be displayed here that is what the literal meaning of this one here and uh, fetch all And next one i am going to use no need it is enough save yes mail six are there because akshay record has been added uh, many times so that it has been uh, show like this so next one is or i mean uh, operators of sqlite and or not already you know very well what are the usages of these uh, operators i am going to use these operators for your reference while using not here first i am going to use not operator select star from student s t u d e n t student w h e r e where g r a d e grade is not equal to is not is not 
ये एन जी आर ग्रेट इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी एंड हियर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वन इज those who are not having the grade a and b those persons record should be retrieved here that is what the literal meaning of this one so let me explain i mean say, let me execute this one save it small mistake is there so we have to rectify this one so such column grade spelling mistake is there so see here if you make any spelling mistake you will not get output the exact output again yes these two person are getting c grade and d grade other are getting a grade and b grade so that other person's record has been avoided this is what the use of not operator and next one is and i am going to use and so the same thing i am going to give here but select name alone name alone here student where W H E where A B E R A G average greater than or equal to eighty and A B E R A G average less than or equal to ninety. So the meaning of this uh, query is. those who are uh, getting the average from 80 to 90 those persons record alone has been retrieved so that again mistake so select name no such column name Okay, because here I have to give R O L L N O roll number. Now select roll number. Because I forgot to give uh, from name F R O M from student. Yes, now Varun only has the average from eighty to ninety. Either are getting more than that or below than that. So next one is R operator. here instead of and i am going to use or that's all what is the use of or those who are getting greater than or equal to 80 or less than or equal to 90 those persons record has been retrieved here yes all are getting greater than or equal to 90 and below i mean greater than or equal to 80 and below 90 This is what the usage of uh, and or not. And next one, with the help of date of birth, I am going to retrieve data from the table. So you see here,
and select rol roll number comma name name alone enough from student student and where w h e r e where within the bracket d o b greater than or equal to 2001 comma 01 01 and d o b less than or equal to 2001 12 01 those were the records fulfill this condition that records alone has been retrieved here now i'm going to save this one again yes varun alone has been varun record has been alone satisfy this condition then because of that only his record has been retrieved from the table so next one we are going to see aggregate function so count some average minimum maximum these are all aggregate functions we are going to see these functions now so first aggregate function is count so and here i am going to use count function select c o u n t count star from table how many records are there i am going to count select star from s t u d e n t save this one press f5 totally eight records are there because actually record has been added as four times so that <coughs> next one is max function or average function so here i am going to calculate the average of the average students average of the students average here i am going to calculate select and here select a v e r e g average and here a v g i have to use f r o m from s t u d e n t and this is for calculating average of the student average save it press f5 to get the result s 60.575 is the average of that one so next one we are going to see sum for that we are we have to use here sum keyword s u m again save it with this we are going to calculate the sum of i mean sum of the average of the students so press f5 is 484.6 and next one is max and min functions max function which retrieve the maximum value largest value of this selected column or specified column min is uh, retrieve the least value of the selected column so we are going to see and here we are going to use different select name comma max which in the bracket a v e or a g average 
F R O from student S T U D E N T student and here print result and next one this is for getting the maximum average who is getting maximum average next one we are going to see who is getting uh, minimum average so for that here we have to use we have to give uh, keyword print max and next one is for print within the bracket I have to give min so consider execute the same thing I'm going to give but at a small change here I'm going to give instead of max I'm going to change as min that's all so next one is result result variable connection dot fit short sorry cursor dot f e t c h fit fit all print result result this one next one is execute unexpected intent so here again save it now you can get result is not defined the name or a small mistake is there or me or s u l t result so spelling mistake is there yes maximum uh, average is warren is getting 80.9 and minimum average is uh, priya she is getting 50.7 this is how we can uh, getting maximum minimum value from the records um, from the table and next one we are going to update the record we are going to update the uh, existing record for that we have to use update keyword here I am going to update a record for that here we have to give update student up D A T -E update S T U D E N T update student name here I want to use set keyword then only it will update the record or it will not update the record set name P R A Y A N K A Priyanka W H E R E Var Roll number is equal to six. So here I'm telling to the compiler, I mean uh, telling the database the database have to update a student name from Priya to Priyanka and his con I mean and I have given an another condition I have given another condition his or her roll number must be 6 so next one control S F5 
so to check this one I'm going to and after doing this one I have to give C O N N E C T I O N connection dot commit to save the record permanently and next one I have to use another uh, query for uh, counting how many number of record has been updated for that print print within that TOTL total NUMB number of rows updated uh, this is for uh, counting uh, how many number of rows has been updated C O N N E C T I O N connection dot total changes T O T A L total C H A N G E S changes with that and next one is cursor dot C or S O or cursor is equal to C U or S O or cursor dot execute E X E C U T E execute S S E L E C T select star F O or star from S T U D E N T the next one is for R cursor C U or S O or cursor P R I N T print R because R is a variable that will that would be intruded into this cursor variable and it will fetch the record from the table student. So next one is save this one. Yes, Priyanka has been changed as Priya. but here Varun name has been changed as Priyanka so that I am going to remove this one now again I am going to and everyone name is changed as Priyanka so some mistake is there while creating the database so that it is showing the like this so next one this is how updating a record next one is deletion operation so with the help of uh, delete we can uh, delete the unwanted record for that we are going to give here delete -E delete from student 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 W H E R E where R O L roll number is equal to five. Okay. Yes. The record number five has been deleted from this database and next one is data input by the user data input by the user so dear students I hope you all understand uh, these concepts very well so finally I would like to conclude my class with data input by the user because we are going to feed the data at runtime that is what 
we are going to give we are going to do here and this topic will be covered by next session itself i hope you all understand these sessions very well this uh, i mean uh, today's session very well thank you all for watching the video and prepare well for uh, the test one second thank you thank you all